everybody it's chloe from chloe's creative cards and i just wanted to show you how to create this really pretty card using our beautiful festive foliage background stamp you can see this is a really nice large gl size stamp and you've got lots of festive foliage on there so you've got sprigs of mistletoe you've got little branches you've got snowflakes poncettas and um, all sorts going on in this background it is absolutely beautiful for coloring in stamping and embossing glitter so so much or I just wanted to show you how to create this really nice, quick and easy project, which just looks absolutely fabulous for Christmas. So to do this one, we're going to be stamping and embossing on vellum to create like a wrap style card. But you can see how gorgeous this looks. But even just for creating a background on your projects, this stamp is absolutely fabulous. As always, I've listed all of the materials that I'm using in the description below. So please do have a look and you can shop all of the products online at chloescreativecards.co.uk. Okay then, we'll get started. So we're going to start with um, the festive foliage background stamp. Now, as I mentioned, this is a really large stamp. So I've actually stuck this onto one of our um, acrylic blocks. So we sell these in a set of four on the website and you get a really large block in there and it's perfect for these background stamps. So that's what I'm using to stamp the stamp with. I've then got a piece of white vellum and I'm just going to take an anti-static bag and give that a good dust over. So really, I'm only going to be stamping in kind of this section of the vellum here. So I'm just focusing with my anti-static on there. And then I'm going to take my Wow Clear Embossing Ink Pad. So this is like a sticky ink pad that all of your embossing powder is going to stick to. I'm going to take my stamp and I'm going to ink it up using the ink pad. So lots of tapping all over the image like so. Make sure that you've got plenty of ink on there and notice how I'm taking the ink pad to the stamp and just tapping all over the image like so. The table is probably <laughs> probably shaking, I'm not putting too much pressure on, I'm just kind of tapping over it, making sure that we've got plenty of ink on there. Okay, I'm now going to take my stamp and I'm going to stamp it onto the vellum. So I'm just going to hover and get this towards the edge, about there looks about right. And then you want firm even pressure all over the stamp like so. So you're just going to keep one hand in the middle and use the other hand to work round and to press. Okay, and then we're going to lift that away and you can see how we've got the ink on there very faintly. I'm now going to bring in my Wow Opaque Bright White Super Fine Embossing Powder. So this is a really nice fine grade of embossing powder. So what that means is it's going to cling to the image, but it's going to pick up all of the detail as well. So we'll just sprinkle that over and then tap off the excess. And you can see there how we've got all of that lovely detail in the stamped image there. It's absolutely gorgeous. So I'm going to pop my leftover wow powder into the back into the jar. Just sprinkle that back in. And then I'm going to bring my heat gun in and heat this up. Now what you'll find with the vellum is that the um, embossing powder will turn really, really quickly. So all I'm doing is holding the heat gun still. And as soon as that powder changes to a lovely bright white, I'm just moving my heat gun over the image like so. just see how you've got all of that lovely glossy embossing there and how you've got all of the detail in that stamp it is absolutely beautiful of course if you wanted to you could be going in with a glue pen and adding a little bit of glitter onto maybe some of the flowers or some of the leaves or you can be adding little jewels which is what we're, we're going to do on ours so what I've done is I've taken a DL card blank so a DL is basically about a third of A4 so this is just under four inches wide and just under eight inches long 
I've taken a little scrap of paper and this is from our white Christmas pad. Now I know it's foiled and it maybe seems like a little bit of a waste to pop it underneath the vellum, but it actually works really, really nicely because you get a little bit of like a glint of the foil shining through. So what I'm gonna do is take a little bit of glue and just stick my paper down onto the front of my card blank. So just a little bit of glue onto the back and then we're just going to stick that down. It's going to get stuck onto there like so. Okay, what we're now going to do is like create a little vellum wrap around our card. So we're going to need to cut a little bit off the top and the bottom of our vellum. So I'm going to grab my gelatine in just to do that. So literally all I'm going to do is take like a little sliver up here and a little sliver off the other bit as well. It's just this way then you can try and keep your borders pretty even. And I just tend to do this by eye if I'm being honest. I'm not kind of too precise about it or anything like that. It needs a fraction more off. Take a little bit more off there, a little bit more off there. That should be about the right width, yep, to wrap around up the card. Okay, what we're now going to do is take our vellum and we're just going to hold it against the edge of the card blank, like so, and then we're going to wrap it around of a card so you're creating that wrapped effect i'm going to pull the card out and then just fold down the spine here and that will then give me a nice sharp crease what i'm then going to do is take my guillotine and i'm going to trim away that little piece there so you can save that for another project definitely that's going straight in the scrap box and then we can tuck our card blank in to our wrap like so. So to stick this down, what I'm gonna do is pop a line of double-sided tape along the back of my card. Just gonna try and peel the back off of this. making this look really difficult. It's honestly not that hard. I just don't use double-sided tape very often. <laughs> then I just use a little bit of glue. Right, let me see if we can, there we go. We've got it there. Okay, and then we're gonna tuck our card inside of the vellum wrap, like so. Now, obviously, if you wanted to kind of like disguise the little bit of tape along the back, you could be popping a piece of pattern paper down there or taking a piece of ribbon or something like that and just wrapping it round. Okay, so what we're going to do now is create the little ribbon wrap for the side here. So to do that, I'm going to open my card blank up. I'm going to take my double-sided tape again and I'm going to stick it along the inside edge like so. I'm going to take my ribbon, I'm going to cut a piece that's about double the length of my card blank so that we can wrap that all the way around. So this is our beautiful Lux ribbon, and this one's in sparkling silver that I'm using. Grabbing a little pokey tool just to see if that helps me lift the edges up a little bit on here. There we go. And we're just gonna take our ribbon and just wrap that around my card like so. And what you can then do is where it's in the centre here, you can cut that off at an angle. And there we go. And then you've got a lovely ribbon wrapped around the side of your card. <clears throat> and what we're then going to do is take our ribbon and tie a triple bow. So to do that, I'm going to wrap the ribbon around my index finger, wrap it around my third finger, back around my index, back around my third, and once more. So you in effect then end up with three loops on each finger, like in a figure of eight. I'm gonna take the longer length of ribbon, cross it at the back all the way over all of those loops. 
I'm going to take the shorter length and I'm going to bring it round to the front and tie it in a knot. Like so. Then when we take that away, you can see how we've got this beautiful ribbon perfectly tied. And our ribbons are really good as well because they do hold that shape. They're a little bit stiffer, um, so they're not kind of too soft, which works really well. So we're going to pop that bow to one side and we're going to do a little sentiment for our card. So I've actually just taken one of the sentiments from the Christmas verse stamp set and it just says "Happy, uh, 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 Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. And I've got a little piece of crystal white card. I'm going to take my anti-static bag and give that a little dust over. And then again, I've got my Wow Clear embossing ink pad. I'm going to just ink up my stamp, place that down and press. Again, firm even pressure all over the stamp. We're going to take that away and then we're going to take the Wow Metallic Silver Sparkle Embossing Glitter. We're going to sprinkle that over the excess back into the jar. Then we're just going to heat this up. So to do that, I'm just using my heat gun. I'm going to hold my heat gun still. And as soon as that embossing powder starts to melt and change, I'm just moving it over the image again. You can see that. I'm just going to grab my little guillotine and we'll just trim this little sentiment down. So we're going to trim it off the bottom, put it off there, put it off there, and a little bit off there. tiny bit more for the top and bottom. I do tend to just do this all by eye as well. I don't tend to kind of measure my little tags or anything like that. Okay, I'm then going to take my glitter. So the glitter that I'm using is our Sparkalicious Glitter in Crystallina. I'm going to take our chisel tip glue pen. I'm just going to drag this along the edge of the little tag and then dump that in the glitter. So I'm going to do this on each side. Like so. And then we're going to pop this on at a little angle just at the side there. Like so. I'm going to stick that down with a couple of foam pads. Just grab these in. Stick that down. And then I've got a little glue dot just to stick my bow on with. Could use a little bit of um, 3D glue gel as well, would work perfectly to stick this down. A bit of glue onto there. And then we're going to add a little bit of bling onto here. So I've got my little jewels here. And I'm going to add a little bigger one for the middle of my bow. I don't like to see the knots on bows. I like to add a jewel just to the middle. And then we can just dot some little jewels around in the background. So I'm going to put one in the middle of each of the poncettas. And then I'm going to put a tiny little one just in the middle of each of the snowflakes. Like so. So then we're going to grab our jewels in. So I'm going to go for some slightly larger ones for the centres of the poncettas. Just pop these down. And we'll go for some really tiny little ones just for the middles of the snowflakes. So you can just go in and dot these about, of course, if you wanted to use glue or you could be using little sequins, they would look awesome too. You can be adding all sorts in just to kind of sparkle up this background and add a little bit of um, like life to it really. So just going to go around adding these little jewels. background like so. And 
that would then be your completed card. So that would be your little vellum wrap Christmas card making project. So it's a really nice, quick and easy card to do. But of course, if you wanted to, you could tint this with a little bit of colour. You could be adding an extra little bit of glitter on there as well if you wanted to. So I really hope that you've enjoyed today's project. If you haven't done so already, subscribe to our YouTube channel on the link below. Or give our Facebook page a like and hopefully we'll see you again soon. All of the products that I've used are available to buy from chloescreativecards.co.uk.